Hey, today I'm talking about the Vogma iMecha portable tire inflator. Let's look at a quick unboxing and then I'll talk to you about some of the pros and the cons of this particular device. So here's the Vogma iMecha inflator pump. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Right, so right on top here, we got a little, huh, little thank you card. Oh, look at that. And it's even handwritten. Dear friend, thanks for your support. Have a nice day, Monica. That's a nice little touch. I like that. There's the use manual. Now, I will say, I'm really surprised at how heavy this is, which means it's probably got a fairly large battery in it. It's a little drawstring bag. Uh, let's take a look at these accessories down in the bottom first before we go on to the pump itself. So in this accessory box, we have valve USB cable for charging we have it looks like a very long cord here for plugging into your accessory outlet in your vehicle and we have a number of different tips that can be used including a spare fuse and here's the device itself you can see it has the recommended inflation pressures for various tires. Yeah, this is this is pretty hefty. Let's see if we can get this plastic wrap off here. I like the see-through appearance. Here we go. There we go. And let's just see if it turns on for us. All right, so it's not charged. We'll give it a charge, and then I'll run through the features later. So this iMecha portable tire inflator from Vogma is capable of, it says, up to 150 PSI. I think you probably use that on a bicycle tire, but it works on cars. It works on your inflatables, you know, pool inflatables and things like that. It's got a couple of adapters for that. And it also works on, you know, your sports balls, like your basketballs, your baseballs, your football, not probably not your baseballs, your basketballs, your soccer balls, uh, your footballs and things like that. Uh, some of the things that I really like about it, let's start out with its appearance. I really like this kind of see-through deal here. And you can also, when you turn this thing on, you can see a little light in there and you can see the motor spinning while it's working. So it's got a, a bunch of fun little design aesthetics. Really like the way that it looks. Some other features that I like are the little flashlight that comes with it. Now, it's not the brightest flashlight in the world, but it'll do in a pinch if you're stuck on the side of the road somewhere and it's dark. So this inflator will display pressures in PSI, bar, kilopascals, um, what else? Let's see. You got to hold, you got to hold it in here and it'll change. And there's kilopascals. There's kilograms per meter. Bar. And your PS, back to your PSI. Um, you simply adjust your pressures by hitting these plus and minus signs. And then once you're ready to go, you kind of hit the power button. Oh, it's still adjusting. When you're ready to go, you hit the power button. And away it goes. You can also use this to charge you any of your portable devices. So if your phone runs out of power at some point, you can plug it into a USB-C or USB-A port and charge it. And you use the USB-C port for charging the battery in this as well. 
So you've got your hose that attaches right here. I would like to have seen this be a little, you know, like loose so that I don't have to spin this whole thing around. That's a little awkward, but I get it. It's kind of a budget inflator. And so I kind of understand them skipping that particular feature. Um, just hitting the power button will show you just like quickly. It's just like you hit it and the battery comes up and then you got to hold it in to turn it on. I would like to see a little quicker way to turn it on because if you're, you know, this is kind of designed for, hey, you're on the side of the road, you got to pump up your tire and having to hold the button in and then adjust it is kind of a pain. And the other thing I noticed too is, so you can hold down the button here to adjust the pressures, but they go flying by when you hold that button in. And that's not very helpful. And then, so other than that, you got to keep hitting the button here multiple times. And because it only changes by a tenth of a pound, if you're way off, you really got to keep going. Now, one trick that you can do is you can hold the power button in and turn it off and then hold the power button in and turn it on again. And it defaults to 36 pounds per square inch. Don't ask me why. That's kind of an odd pressure for it to default to. But at least if you're way off, then you can go down and say, right, so I got to hit that 10 times to get it down to 35. I would like to see this default to like 32 pounds per square inch or 35 pounds per square inch. Either way, um, it's a, it can be a little tedious to adjust the pressures. If you hit the R, it kind of has some presets. There's your motorcycle um, or your bicycle. And here it has your sports balls. And so it automatically brings it down to like 8 PSI. And then I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe this is the one where you can just uh, crank it up to 150 PSI. Who knows? But it kind of cycles around through those, and it has these default settings. Again, like I said, I think for the for the vehicle, I would like to see the PSI kind of at 35. That's kind of the standard in the United States. I understand this probably isn't being sold only in the United States, but that's kind of a standard on a lot of vehicles is anywhere between 32 and 35 PSI. Having to adjust that and hit that button 10 times is kind of a pain because if you hold the button in, it's going to go flying right by uh, 35 PSI. So all in all, I'll say that this is a good product. It's good for the money. I think right now it's on sale for like 30 bucks. So for 30 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Um, it's a good, good value. It does what it says on the tin. And I think it'll be very useful in a pinch whenever you need to get your tires inflated or if you've got, if your kids have balls that are constantly losing pressure or bicycle tires that are constantly losing pressure. If you ride an electric scooter like I do, you can pop this, you know, in your backpack and take it with you. It is a bit heavy, but I think after a while you'd get used to it. Um, other than that, great device, love the way it works, does what it says. And I would recommend this. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.